Hi everyone, this is Bobby from BN-Games.com and we're here doing another arcade video. Um, if you have been following the channel, you'll know that um, last time I was trying to get the Sega Naomi to work with a uh, with the GD-ROM and I was getting error 21. Um, based on my reading, it says that the DIM boards is probably bad based on my research. Um, I bought another one from Japan for 60 bucks. Um, it's a little beat up. We haven't tested it right now. So we're doing this video, see if it'll work and see if that game will work, because I want to yeah, play that. Yeah, and uh, struggling in the back here. Oh. <laughs> As with all arcade nonsense, the goddamn GD-ROM case won't come open. So yeah, that's next. Troubleshooting. And while we're in this area, this right here is the Ajaleco Pony Mark IV. It's got a really good screen on this one. The only problem is the control panel is made of cheap plastic. Um, as you can see here, some arcade gore for you. Uh, the night I bought it, taking it into uh, my garage, um, the control panel slipped off and cracked and shattered, and that's all glued together now. So, yeah, if you ever pick one of these up, be careful about brittle plastic. So, to expand on Naomi hardware, when you buy GD ROMs, they come in these cases. You get the GD ROM disc and a security key. Um, you need to have the right security key for the right game. Right now we actually mix them up, so I'm not sure uh, which one's which. Um, and then you put the key into the uh, dim board here, and there's a little, it's a little tab here, as you can kind of see right there. That, that so you, there's a little notch. Try to get in focus. So we're going to try this one and see if it fails. By the way, getting these out of these dim boards is a fucking pain in the ass. So yeah, push it down. And then you put this board in the Naomi, which I've shown before. And the GD-ROM connects via cable there. So we're going to try this and see if it works. Alright. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, it needs, it needs decals big time. Sorry, I'm a shaky camera. Let's see the hit the decos button. What? And these decos. There we go. The discoloration. Yeah. Uh, it's got a decos coil built in. Well, that's a good sign. That means the board is detected at least. All right, let's see what happens. So we're not sure if it's the right key. Security key for this one. It'll tell us in a second. Once it loads. Although this one seemed to load a little faster. Or it might be in my imagination. Oh, wait a minute. That's a good sign. I think you picked the right key. Oh, man. Talk about a 50 50 chance. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, so what okay so there you have it if you have Naomi error 21 it's the damn dim board Jesus let's make sure it loads all the way I'm gonna keep the other one and if any of you out there who are watching this know how to fix them let me know apparently it could be bad caps on it but um, we'll see and this is good thing the game works too because I just bought this one Hmm. We got a set free play and all that. Yeah, but it works. Yeah, I forgot how good the screen looks. I have, the, I have this for the Dreamcast and the PS2. You're, you're leaving this game in, right? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Will you, in fact, get a little footage of me playing it? So yeah. 
All right, so if you've never used a Naomi before, there's a test mode. I'm going to hit the test mode button. <coughs> and it's going to load up the uh, test menu. This is where we're going to set our difficulty, free play, all those sorts of things. And we got to go to the game board. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's hard to do look, looking blind. All right. I have to hit the test button and then go to the game test mode. And this is where you can actually use controls because you can't use the controls for some reason on Naomi, but you can on the game board, which is kind of weird. But, but, uh, all right, so input test, all buttons are working. Good. Okay, game data. We're not, that's if you were actually like running an arcade game configuration. So demo sound half off. That way it doesn't make a ton of noise every time. Continue on. We'll turn up the difficulty all the way. I'm, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, oh, was it? I got yeah, to do that on the Naomi one. Alright. Go back to the game board and actually set the coins. The free play. That's coin assignments. And I think it's 23 or 22. You just keep hitting the button until... Because it'll tell you free play here. Twenty-seven. Never mind. All right, and that's it. Exit. Restart the game and play a little bit. Show it off. If you watched my arcade video, you know this is the cabinet that um, is finicky. She's a finicky bitch. Um, the screen was giving us a little bit of problems that I didn't capture on video, but the reset seems to be doing okay. So. And that's his Aero City. In the last video, if you're on my channel, mine looks very similar. Oh, yours looks clear, actually. Look, look at my like, scene right next to each other. Uh, and that one I just talked about. A lot of people think it's the best Street Fighter game ever made. I don't agree with that. Um, I never understood all the group stuff. I know they have different levels for characters. like. Some of them you play with three, some of you play with two or one. It depends on how much you want to make your character stronger versus others. Uh, All show to See, in this one, you can set how much power, like the level, they go up to level 3. So, Ken's my character, so he's going to get all of the power. But those are both level 2, so they're pretty strong. And this is the updated version, because there is another Capcom versus SNK, but it doesn't have as many characters. Play this game a long time, and it's also on the hardest mode. Probably turn up the turbo because it's kind of slow. And then I'll switch to the other character. I have to beat that one. If they beat me, which they probably will, it'll uh, bring out Akuma. Can this 
another additional kick attack in this one. I just remember. Trying to figure it out on the fly. Okay, so I've turned the turbo up. Difficulty is still at max. Um, try this again. Let's try this again. I just don't remember how to get to one character, which is multiple. That I need to figure out. Maybe that's a console thing only? I don't remember. It doesn't help that it's Japanese only. At least most of the text and structure text. Next location is Aramori. Aramori. This battle is about to explode. Fight! Oh, I forgot about the roll, too. <laughs> oh, I ran into that one. I ran into that one. Yeah, I forgot there's a roll. Run double tap these two low punch will kick you the roll. This is gonna be a mess to remember. That one. <laughs> Even if I lose the round. <laughs> Terry Booker. Not Ryu. I hate when people say Ryu. Ryu. <laughs> Yay! This is on the hardest difficulty. With turbo all the way up. So yeah, that's... Capcom vs. SMK2 on the Thomas Wave cabinet, the dim board, fix it, had to buy a replacement. So yeah, if you get error 21, that's it. So, 
like, ow. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember the SMK guy's name. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, so that you thought that was the end of the video. Turns out there are actually passwords to unlock extra modes if I was having problems before, you know, um, wondering why stuff was missing. Well, we're going to try these out and see what happens. So it turns out once you put in the password Yama out, Yamo out, Y-A-M-A-O-O-U-T in the game test mode, it unlocks um, the option to do new game modes. So I think that's what I was looking for. So you have ratio match, three on three match, or single match. I want single match personally. And then the other one is for boss mode. So we'll take a look at boss mode and see um, see what that looks like. That one, once you put that in, it's Morikawa. M-O-R-I-K-A-W-A -A. Um, when you get to the title screen you hit medium punch and medium kick at the same time so we will try that here in a moment and see what happens yeah this works I guess that key combination didn't work, but single matches. Working. We'll have to try that later, see if we can get boss mode working. But at least figure out how the mode's working. Alright, thanks for watching.